नेक्स्ट इज डबल साइड बैंड सप्रेस कैरियर डी मॉडुलेशन बिकॉज नाउ वी हैव टू रिकवर अवर मैसेज सिग्नल फ्रॉम डबल साइड बैंड सप्रेस कैरियर एंड फॉर दिस देयर इज ओनली वन मैथड दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एंड विच इज सिंक्रोनस डिटेक्टर सो इन केस ऑफ सिंक्रोनस डिटेक्टर वी नो दैट देयर शुड बी ए टू ब्लॉक्स फर्स्ट इज बैलेंस मॉडुलेटर नाउ बिकॉज दैट टाइम वी यूज मल्टीप्लायर बट नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज बैलेंस मॉडुलेटर बैलेंस मॉडुलेटर गिव द आउटपुट प्रपोर्शनल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इनपुट सो दैट्स वाई we will use now balance modulator in place of multiplier and followed by this low pass filter because we are talking about the demodulation of double side band suppress carrier or detection of double side band suppress carrier we required low pass filter in the transmitter we always reuse band pass filter because that time the modulated signal is a band pass signal and now we want to recover our message signal and now the message signal is a low pass signal that's why we will use filter as low pass filter so let's draw the diagram for synchronous detector and we know that there will be a balanced modulator and input to the balanced modulator is locally generated carrier signal because this is a coherent detector or synchronous detector so this synchronous detector should have the carrier frequency synchronized with the carrier frequency in the transmitter side so in the transmitter we used the carrier frequency ac cos omega ct that's why here also we are using the carrier frequency ac cos omega ct which is generated by local oscillator at the receiver and the input of this balanced modulator is double side band suppress carrier so the double side band suppress carrier is mt cos omega ct you can write ac also ac mt cos omega ct you can write no problem at all and the output of this balanced modulator is passed through low pass filter this is low pass filter having cut off frequency fm because we want to recover message signal and let's find what is the output so let us represent it by y of t and this is x of t this whole block combined with this balance modulator and low pass filter is called synchronous detector so suppose you find somewhere in uh, written in the block synchronous detector that means you have to perform two operation first is multiplication and then filter read by low pass filter so, or when synchronous detector is written in some block now x of t what will be x of t so this x of t is multiplication of these two so we get mt ac cos square omega ct multiplication of this two and mt into ac this cos omega uh, cos square omega ct can be written as 1 plus cos 2 omega ct by 2 and when we multiply this we get mt ac by 2 and another term is mt ac cos 2 omega ct by 2 so there are two terms first is mt which is having frequency fm and second is mt into cos 2 omega ct which is having frequency 2 fc plus minus fm so if we draw the spectrum for positive side only we get this is fm and this is 2 fc plus minus fm this is centered at 2 fc because we have placed the low pass filter and this low pass filter is having cut off frequency fm this is the low pass filter low pass filter is having uh, cut off frequency fm so it will pass the frequency component which is less than fm and there is only one component which is less than fm and this is our first term this is our first term and this was our second term so this first term will pass through the low pass filter and the second term will be rejected by low pass filter so at the output of low pass filter we will get y of t 
here this y of t we will get this term which is m t a c by 2. So, in this way we recovered our message signal this is having only frequency f m the m t is directly present. So, now we can say that this synchronous detector can demodulate the double sideband suppressed carrier signal to give message signal back. Now, what will happen if the carrier frequency is not perfectly synchronized? That is, if suppose this carrier frequency is having some phase shift, then what will happen? Okay, so, next we will see effect of phase shift, effect of phase shift or you can write drift also in synchronous detector. So, for block diagram for this is we have parents modulator because synchronous detector is used. And input to this balance modulator is our double sideband suppressed carrier. So, m t cos omega c t and now this another input which is to the balance modulator is having phase drift that is phase shifted that is uh, uh, it is shifted by some phase uh, with respect to the transmitted carrier or the carrier generated in the transmitted. So, we are having phase shift like cos of omega c t plus theta. There is a phase shift of theta at the transmitter we used carrier signal which is having frequency cos omega c t with phase 0, but at the receiver when we generated it by local oscillator we get the phase shift of theta degree. Then in this case what will be the output that we have to de determine. rest all is same. Now, let us derive it x t equal to multiplication of these two. So, this is m t cos omega c t into cos omega c t plus theta. So, here we will apply the formula of 2 cos a cos b whenever the cos is in terms of multiplication then we apply the formula 2 cos a cos b and that is cos a plus b and cos a minus b. So, this is m t by 2 cos a plus b and cos a minus b cos a plus b 2 omega c t plus theta and cos a minus b is cos theta. Now, this is the term which is centered about 2 f c and it is a constant term because theta is a constant. Theta is a phase shift which will be constant it may be 5 degree, it may be 10 degree, it may be 15 degree. We discussed in one of the questions uh, uh, of A m in which uh, we uh, solve for the phase error of 5 degree and this is also the phase error of theta. So, theta can be anything it can be 10 degree, 5 degree, 45 degree. So, what will be, will be the uh, phase shift? that phase shift we have to consider and it will give a constant value. So, this constant value will affect only in amplitude of the message signal it will not change the frequency of signal. So, this m t is multiplied with cos 2 omega c t. So, it will shift to 2 f c, but when this m t by 2 is multiplied with cos theta the frequency will not change and the frequency will be f m only. So, we will get this same spectrum like this. Uh, one is centered to uh, 2 f c and other will be extended up to the f m. So, at the output of low pass filter that is y of t we will get m t cos theta by 2 m t cos theta by 2. So, this is the output, but what will happen when the theta become 90 degree? If theta become 90 degree then this output y of t will be 0 because cos 90 is 0. So, 
this effect is called quadrature null effect this effect is called quadrature null effect why we call it as quadrature null effect because quadrature means uh, the quadrature component of this so if you put theta 90 here omega ct plus 90 so cos 90 plus theta cos 90 plus theta you will get minus sin theta that means minus sin omega ct and the cos omega ct was the original transmitted carrier or the original carrier that is generated at the transmitter but at the receiver locally generated is minus sin omega ct and cos and sin are perpendicular to each other or we also call it as quadrature component of each other so the quadrature component of cos is sin and the quadrature component of sin is cos so this that's why we named it as quadrature because uh, quadrature of cos is sin so here we are getting quadrature effect and null because null because the output is zero so that's why its name is quadrature null effect so this is the effect of phase shift so it may be possible that uh, if you are uh, at the transmitter if you are generating a frequency of carrier is suppose 1 megahertz so and when we generate at the local oscillator it may be changed by 1.1 kilohertz or 0.1 hertz that means the frequency can also be changed if we are considering the effect of phase then we can also consider the effect of frequency drift because frequency can also be changed so in that case what will be the effect effect of frequency drift cos 2 pi fc plus delta ft the delta f is very small frequency suppose it is changed by some small frequency then in this case the output of this sequence detector will be that we have to calculate empty cos omega ct low pass filter having cut off frequency so in this case when we solve it x of t equal to empty cos omega ct and cos uh, we can also write omega c plus delta omega t if we multiply this uh, we can also write in terms of omega because this is also omega and uh, a 2 cos a cos b is cos a plus b that is cos 2 omega c t plus delta omega t and cos a minus b that is cos omega delta omega t this two term we will get now at the output of low pass filter because the first term is centered to 2 fc which is very high frequency so it will not pass through the low pass filter but this second term cos delta omega t and mt by 2 is in the form of multiplication and this we will get at the output of low pass filter because the message signal spectrum will shift to very small frequency so it will pass some of the component that is suppose if this is the message signal spectrum 
if this is suppose the message signal spectrum then it will shift to very low frequency like this this is the low, lowest frequency delta f and similarly the mirror image we will get here somewhere so it will pass through the low pass filter because it will shift the signal but not to the very high frequency it will remain less than the fm so the low pass filter will pass this component and this component message signal mt and cos delta omega t is in the multiplication form so the message signal both are in time domain this message signal is multiplying with the cosine signal so it is uh, continuously changing because thus it is a oscillating signal the amplitude is continuously varying and it is multiplying with the message signal so the amplitude of message signal gets also change so we get the distorted output and this effect is called beat effect because of this cosine term the message signal gets distorted and this effect is called beat effect and in this case we cannot recover our message signal so in this case also we have some effect and in the second case also we are having some effect so to get the message signal back we can uh, we have to synchronize the locally generated carrier with the transmitted carrier then only we can recover our message signal without any distortion or we have to keep the phase error very 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 small then also the effect can be negligible but if there is a big phase error that is of 90 degree then the output will be zero so in that case we cannot recover our message signal